Well, I've been putting pots and pans on my new rack. Uh, I, that don't hold with about half of them. I should have bought two or three of these racks. But I just ain't got no place to put them. This is most of the stainless steel. The cast iron and the pewter and the other stuff, I'll just have to wait till I get something. If I go back to the uh, pots and pan place, I'll buy me another rack or two. Turn you around slow. Uh, so that's what I've been up to. Uh, I bought some of this scented spray. And what else did I buy? A whole bunch of stuff. I'll have to get it out and get all of it. I made a bracelet, necklace slash, I'll show you in a minute. And, uh, I might as well sit down and show you. Um. Ooh. Ooh. Let me get see. I get the medicine box. Uh. All right, people. This is a bracelet. You could use it for a necklace. It's magnets. It's supposed to be good for you, so I strung them all on there. You can use it for a necklace. You can even make a choker out of it if you want, a little smaller. But it'll make a bracelet if you just lay it there and go around. Around. And around and around. See there? And if you want to take it off, you just grab a hold of the end of it and just unwind it. And what it is, it's, uh, these are crystals. This is, a uh, coral. And then it's got, uh, oh, what they call it, seed beads, but they're, they're silver. They're solid silver. And these are magnets. Little bitty tiny black magnets. I thought, well, that's weird, you know, sew it all together here. And, uh, it's really pretty easy to put together. I should do two or three more of them. Uh, my granddaughter got my stuff up, some earrings up on her, from Thought to Things, on her Facebook page, so you guys are interested. I'm going to have her put a bunch more of this stuff up that I'm making. Uh, Magnus is supposed to be good for arthritis. I'm going to post it. This is going to be like an Indian bracelet. And you just keep going around and it won't fall off, I guarantee you. <laughs> that magnets hold pretty good. Mm. Like Indian red coral. Uh. Anyway, well you see my pots and pans. I've got a whole bunch of cat. i got to get another one of them racks. i got to clean up that kitchen. I'm working on it. I haven't been to bed yet. So it's uh, 15 minutes to 5. So there you go. Uh, I haven't been to bed. I've been trying to straighten up, clean up. and uh, Now I can have to take that file cabinet that I had most of them things stuffed in there that I couldn't find the lids to and everything else. Because I... I can find everything now in that rack. I need to get go in and get two more. You can buy them racks at a uh, uh, oh, kitchen outlet, and they have this. I want a, a flat one instead of one of them ones that stainless steel that stands up. You know that's got shelves. That's the same problem I have with it inside that uh, uh, file cabinets. I want them to stand up so I can see my pot, and then I can reach down there and get a lid that matches. And that's about half of the stainless steel. Uh, I'm sure i got to get two more of them. i got to admit, uh, I think it was U.S. Food uh, uh, Restaurant Outlet, somewhere like that. I think it was the name of it. But I need to should get two of them. They're about $150 a piece, 100 and 
tax and all about 170. So there you go. I should about three of them. Uh, when my wife couldn't use cast iron no more because her arthritis was so bad, I bought her a whole bunch of stainless steel. And uh, then I've got that old-fashioned uh, pewter, I guess is what you call it. I got some aluminum, too. But anyway, I just need more racks. And now cast iron, I got that stuff, stuff every, in every room, every vehicle, and everything else. Uh, I need to get it all together. But anyway, I'm working on it, people. Somebody said my stove was a fire hazard, so I had to get some, <laughs> get some of the cast iron pots out there. Uh, I needed to get them out there anyway. I'm working at it. That's all that counts. Oh, I had a... My eyes hurt. I've been working all night trying to get that done. Mm. Made this bracelet slash necklace. I like it. It's a little flashy though. I probably should have used turquoise or something instead of that red coral. But I like that red coral. Mm. I got a, uh, made some earrings like that too. I don't wear them. <laughs> they'll go to they'll go to that from thoughts to things Facebook page uh, I'm telling you I, I want to stay home for a few days you run into the strangest people it scared the hell out of me I left room on the counter. I don't know. Uh, I like to have an old-fashioned kitchen with just a whole bunch of shelves in it or something like that. I don't have no wall space in that kitchen and dining room. Just they got very little counter space. I got a neat middle island. Mm. That's what I'm... Uh, uh, but at least I got some of that stainless steel out so I can use it. My roasting pan and stuff, so on and so forth. Uh, but that's what I've been doing all night. I'm trying to figure out what else I'm going to get myself into for. I'll probably lay down here a couple hours and end up again. I'll be glad in uh, summer or spring, so I won't have to use the. I can put stuff over on that one wall with, with a floor bit, air vents at. Return air, whatever you want to call it. Babe. Cover it up. So, but we've been having some cool mornings, and I've turned the heat on. Yeah. And I forgot to get me a cake mix so I can make my fruit cocktail upside down cake. Ooh. Mm. I got the hiccups now that I ain't even took medicine yet. Ooh. I did eat some grapes, though. Uh, I only at one time yesterday had that little bit of egg and some mushroom and a little bit of ham. That's all I ate. Oh, I had a couple, three grapes. Uh, this morning, I think I'll eat something like maybe blackberries or uh, raspberries or something like that for breakfast. Just, that's it. Maybe a few grapes. I got some great big old buffalo grapes. They're purple with seeds. Uh, I'm working at it, though. Whew, Lord, I'm telling you. I had to wash all them pots, you know, wasn't just like, oh, I'll throw them on the rack. No, I washed all of them because they'd been in storage for so long. Of course, I'll wash and wrench them out again before I use them, but I just want to make sure they're good and clean. Vinegar is the best thing to clean stainless steel if you want to know. Uh, there's a tip for you. Spray them with vinegar, and it'll sure clean them up. 
that. But, yeah. I got a bottle of uh, vinegar and water, and I, when I wash them, and then I spray them with that vinegar and water and wipe them out. But I wash them with soap and water. Down dishwashing soap. But I rinse them in vinegar and water. That's good for stainless, ain't good for uh, cast iron. Ain't good for that pewter either. Just stainless, that's all. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to figure out what else I'm gonna get myself into. I bought me some of them room fresheners, you know, that uh, you put that scented oil in them. I've got one, two, three, four of them now. I got one for the my ambulance, a little bitty one that runs off USB port. What else did I get? Oh, I got the rack. Uh, I bought a thermos bottle to go to with my collection. It's a little bitty one. Uh, we're true thermos too. It says thermos on it. It ain't one of them little stainless steel bottles. It's a thermos bottle. Like you put soup in, just a one serving soup. Bought me a clothes basket. Bought some scented oils. Bought a bunch of groceries. Uh, I bought, I don't know, about $280 worth of groceries. So, uh, I'm not one to show a bunch of groceries. Hell, everybody has to buy food. I bought me some headache medicine and I bought some uh, nose spray. Bought that at the Dollar Tree, and I bought some soap at the Dollar Tree. I buy a dollar dishwasher soap, so it cost a dollar. And uh, but like I said, at least I can get to a few pots and pans. I'm trying to clean off that table. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I'll be working at it all day and probably tomorrow and the next day. Got to go to a garage sale Saturday, Friday and Saturday. Get up Friday early. She told me a gigantic garage sale. She said she had a bunch of old costume jewelry and stone jewelry and stuff, so I could buy it by the probably bag full. I buy it and then take it apart and make something like this out of it. These magnets are supposed to hold you. There are a little bitty magnets supposed to hold, like in a notebook. They work pretty good for me. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, I gotta get sorted and just put my uh, rotisserie back together. I got three different rotisseries. Uh, and I didn't count the, the one that's in the convection ovens, so I'm just said uh, separate rotisseries. Uh, maybe I can get to using some of that stuff. And I got a meat saw, you know, slices meat. Yep, I got one of them. It's a round blade. You just set it and you just start slicing meat. Uh, you change the blade, you can cut through bone. I don't buy anything that I can cut through a bone. I don't care about cutting through bones. Uh, I buy that, uh, back strap. Make thin stripes out of it, you know, beef. But it's like Walmart meat thin, so damn thin you can't chew on it. Uh, I buy that turkey breast and do the same thing. Cook it and then slice it, make sandwich meat out of it. It keeps me busy. I got all the appliances and stuff, I just can't get to them. Just can't get to, and I'm cooking for one person, really. Uh, that's what I was telling my daughter yesterday. She had my son follow me around because I told her I wasn't feeling good, so she told him to go follow me around. He did. <laughs> I run into him. I, I thought it was his truck behind me, but I run into him at the when I stopped to get gas. He pulled in there, and I said, what are you doing? Oh, I'm following you. I said, well, hell, I'm not that damn seeing now you got to follow me. Well, she said, he said, your, uh, your daughter told me I better get around and start following you. Mm. 
But I had a great time. Uh, he went on to Cabela's and came back. I didn't want to go to Cabela's. Uh, to me, they're overpriced and yet to much crap. He went to get uh, some camping stuff, I think it was what he was telling me. Something to do with his camper, I don't know what that was. Uh, RV World is where he needed to go. Well, I'm going to let you guys go, play this back. And then, uh, like I said, I still ain't done yet. Uh, but that's what I'm up to. You guys have a great day. And uh, at least I can get to half of my pots and pans. I got enough hell I could furnish a damn restaurant. <laughs> uh, I've got three or four different kinds of uh, pots and pans. Cast iron, stainless steel, uh, all kinds of uh, pewter or whatever they call it. But old fashioned stainless steel, I guess that's what you call it. I've got a bunch of them too. Uh, well, gotta let you go. Uh, maybe I can make more jewelry if I, if I get the house straightened up. Talk to you later.